For this build, I'm using the Cooler Master NR200P Max case. The case comes with an 850 watt power supply and water cooling. It also has magnetic dust filters. Currently there's not many mini ITX motherboards available. I've chosen the Asus ROG X670E motherboard. This is what an RTX 3090 looks like. And this is the RTX 4090 that I'll be putting into this case. The size of the motherboard is tiny compared to the size of the graphics card. Many ITX boards have the second SSD on the back of the board. However, this board has the two SSDs stacked on top of each other. I'll remove the entire heatsink to mount the bottom SSD. Remove the plastic protector and reinstall the heatsink. The heatsink contains a riser for the second SSD. The top panel can be removed to install the second SSD. I've gone for two Kingston 2TB SSDs. I decided this because I previously had Samsung SSDs fail on me before. I'm installing a 7950X CPU. Open the socket and align the corner of the CPU to the corner of the socket. Then I can drop in the CPU and close the socket. Most mini ITX boards only have two RAM slots. I'm installing two Corsair 32GB RAM sticks. The case also includes a PCI Express Gen 4 riser cable, so I'll install that. To improve airflow, I'm installing two low profile fans at the bottom of the case. Only the back fan needs to be low profile to fit under the PCI Express riser cable. I'll drop the motherboard into the case and secure it with the four screws. The cooling block needs to have the AMD brackets installed. The water pump, radiator fans and bottom fans need to be plugged into the motherboard. There are only three connectors so I need to use a splitter cable for the bottom fans. I'll add some thermal paste and screw in the water block. I'm 
plugging in all of the power connectors to the motherboard and also the front panel connectors. The back panel of the case can be removed and attached to the graphics card. I can then connect the 12 pin power connector to the graphics card, making sure it's fully plugged in. The GPU can then be negotiated into place. I'll connect the riser cable and slot the bracket into place. The bracket is secured with four screws. The graphics card is a perfect fit for this case. Cool air is drawn in from the side of the case and blown out the top and bottom of the case. I've also got a low profile power connector to save space. <laughs> 